faithful teacher is known as the Quintin. It trains our squires for knighthood. Yes, again it. Ready, sire. Pay heed. Observe the proper gait and the couching of the lance. Fine joust it would be, you and I. The lion against the leopard. What say you, Kenneth? A friendly joust. Some men have gods on earth. I'll strike no blow against mine. <laughs> Nobody but I could beat you, not even the great Giles Avery. I've been seeking a certain bowman of his. The one I suspect of having launched that arrow at your highness. I've combed the entire camp searching for him, but he seems to have vanished. Uh. Giles Avery could have had a powerful commandership if Ildrim had not saved me. Time will tell, Sir Kenneth, whether I have trusted a traitor or whether you are an overzealous friend. Beware of Giles Avery. I may not always be near to remind you, sire. What? I love a maid of blood royal. The outcome might not make me welcome hereabouts. Not my cousin Edith. No, of course not. A Plantagenet, knowing you as I now do, dear Kenneth, I realize you would not aspire that high. <laughs> By Jehovah, there's but one other royal spinster with this expedition. The Duke Leopold's niece of Rhodes. Ah. <laughs> uh, what would you do if you were I, sire? I'd steal her. Devil take the consequences. I'll help you. Come, we'll match our lances once more, and then a pot of ale. I'll instruct you how to make a jackass out of Leopold. <laughs> Tell your Sultan Saladin that I'm now ready to do combat with him. His head will look quite regal on the point of this lance. The message, dear Prince, is as good as delivered. 